You are watching Tech Confessions. Created by Amy Lewis and brought to you by VMware. Brian, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm well. Good. So we are here today to talk about your software-defined moment. Well, I think it uh, happened for me back in, I would say, like 2005 or six or so. Uh, I discovered VMware for the first time and started playing around with the technology. Uh, and then discovered vMotion, which is one of those black magic aha moments for me. It's like, how do they do this? They can move servers with, with no downtime from one physical host to another. Uh, and then the second thing was being able to move storage from one storage to another storage platform. So giving us the ability to move things without downtime was a huge game changer for, for IT professionals. So that was my, my aha software defined moment. And have you always been in this sort of uh, profession? Have you, did you have a change? No, I pretty much started uh, IT right out of high school. Uh, I, was, I was working on computers in high school and I was like, well, this is easy. I can make money at it, so I like it, so why not? Mm -hmm. And so here we are, we're in Indianapolis, we're at the VMUG. What kind of impact do you think that communities have had on, on this world? Well, I think it's been great, really, because, I mean, you learn a lot at these types of events. You get to meet a lot of cool people, uh, people that are doing things that you might not know about. Mm -hmm. and I think it's a good education, uh, and there's a lot of great breakout sessions and speakers here, so I think it's really important. Yeah, that's I would have to agree. And uh, looking forward, do you see any trends coming up with your customers, any certain things we should key in on for the future? I think cloud's a big buzzword that, that I hear a lot. Uh, a lot of companies are evaluating you know, what they want to move to the cloud and how they want to get there. Uh, I think uh, VMware's been a really key part of that, you know, giving the ability to do hybrid cloud uh, because people have figured out you know, like the cloud is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Mm -hmm. So they figure that they can have the best of both worlds and move things where they need to put them. So it gives them a lot of flexibility that they didn't have before. Yeah, well thank you. Thanks for joining me, Brian. No problem, thanks for having me. Uh, when you're ready to make your tech confession, join us at techconfessionstheshow.com.